Botswana has taken a bold leap into the future of sustainable transportation by unveiling its first batch of locally assembled electric vehicles in the nation's capital, Gaborone. The launch, which occurred at the Botswana Institute for Technology Research and Innovation, marks a milestone in the country's automotive landscape. The project, developed in partnership with two Chinese vehicle manufacturers, has drawn attention both for its potential and for the questions it raises. Could this be the first step towards positioning Botswana as a significant player in Africa's green energy revolution? The unveiling, attended by Botswana's President Mogwitsi Masisi, showcased the partnership between Botswana Institute for Technology Research and Chinese manufacturers Skywell and CHTC Kinwin. Skywell is focusing on the assembly of sport utility vehicles, while CHTC Kinwin is aiding in the production of electric buses. Some critics argue that Botswana's role in this project is limited, merely assembling vehicles rather than manufacturing them from scratch. But is this criticism missing the larger point? As Botswana Institute for Technology Research's Chief Executive Officer, Shedin Masu, pointed out, all vehicle manufacturers, regardless of scale, rely on a global ecosystem of component production. In a world where even the largest automakers source parts internationally, does it matter if the assembly process in Botswana starts with imported parts? The debate has not overshadowed the excitement surrounding the project. President Masisi praised the decision to partner with Chinese companies, emphasizing that this initiative is a crucial step towards promoting renewable energy. We must produce the best, the fastest, the most cost-effective. We, in Botswana, are ready to start our automobile industry. He views the assembly plant as not only beneficial for the nation's economy, but also as a stepping stone to a greener future. His endorsement raises an important question. What does this investment mean for Botswana's position on the global stage of electric mobility? The country's ambitions are clear to reduce carbon emissions, embrace e-mobility, and become a part of the international dialogue on climate change. Will these goals be enough to secure Botswana's place in the green technology ecosystem? The road to the plant's unveiling began with a series of strategic decisions rooted in a desire to diversify Botswana's economy and reduce its dependence on mining. Botswana Institute for Technology Research, established in 2012 as a peristatal under the Ministry of Communications, Knowledge and Technology, has been at the forefront of innovation. This assembly plant is a direct result of those efforts, with the Botswana Institute for Technology Research seeking to carve out a niche in the growing electric vehicle market. To prepare for this, the Institute for Technology Research successfully trained more than 150 technicians. The potential economic benefits of this plant are immense, Indeed, the electric vehicle assembly plant is poised to boost Botswana's economy by creating jobs, fostering technological skills, and attracting foreign investment. Assembling electric vehicles locally not only generates employment opportunities, but also positions Botswana as a regional hub for e-mobility, potentially drawing in expertise and capital from international markets. Additionally, this initiative could stimulate the local economy by reducing dependency on imported vehicles and encouraging the development of supporting industries, such as battery recycling and renewable energy. By embracing electric vehicles, Botswana aims to diversify its economy beyond mining, moving towards a sustainable future that leverages both technological innovation and its abundant natural resources. The environmental impact is another layer of this unfolding story. Electric vehicles represent a move towards reducing carbon emissions, a crucial objective as the world grapples with the realities of climate change. Botswana, with its largely untapped renewable energy potential, stands to gain significantly from this transition. The commitment to e-mobility aligns with the country's aspirations to optimize its natural resources, particularly solar energy. The plan is more than just an economic venture, it's a statement of intent in the battle against climate change. But this electric vehicle assembly plant is not just about Botswana. 
It holds implications for the entire African continent, which is slowly but steadily joining the shift towards electric vehicles. Africa's vast potential for solar energy could make it an ideal region for the proliferation of electric vehicles, and Botswana's decision to enter the market sends a signal to neighboring countries. It is also important to note that as the European Union and America impose higher taxes on Chinese electric cars to protect their own car industries from a sector China has quickly dominated, Africa emerges as a potentially lucrative market for high-quality and affordable Chinese electric vehicles. However, the continent faces significant challenges in fully capitalizing on this opportunity. With limited charging infrastructure, unreliable electricity in many regions, and a lack of widespread support systems for electric vehicles, Africa is not yet ready to fully embrace the electric revolution. Yet, the affordability and durability of Chinese electric vehicles could make them appealing in a region that demands cost-effective solutions. The real question is whether African governments and private sectors can prioritize investments in electric vehicle infrastructure to make this shift feasible. If Africa does not tackle these issues, building charging networks, ensuring stable electricity, and developing the necessary logistics, the continent risks being left behind as the rest of the world accelerates towards a greener future. Botswana's move into the electric vehicle market arrives at a time when the global automotive industry is undergoing a radical transformation. As more countries pledge to phase out fossil fuel-powered cars, the demand for electric vehicles is surging. For a small but ambitious nation like Botswana, Entering the market now could position it to take advantage of this growing trend. Yet, the question lingers. Will the country's electric vehicle initiative grow quickly enough to keep pace with the global shift? Or will it struggle to compete against larger and more established players? As the world watches this ambitious project unfold, Botswana's electric vehicle assembly plant stands as a symbol of aspiration and transformation. It is a project that, despite skepticism, holds promise not only for Botswana's economy, but also for its identity as a forward-thinking nation ready to embrace the future. In a continent often sidelined in technological revolutions, Botswana's leap into the world of electric vehicles raises a compelling question. Could this be the beginning of Africa's rise as a hub for green technology? So, what do you make of the electric vehicle assembly plant Botswana has established with support from China? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.